bout number eight is a mixed martial arts match scheduled for three four minute rounds and is being brought to us by cold smoke tobacco and abc 28.1 First, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 165 pounds, representing Dogs of Four from Rocky Boy, Montana, Nolan Cowabunga Snell! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing a Montana MMA here in Bozeman, Montana, also fighting at 165 pounds, Daniel Uzi Uzi! A big round of applause for Daniel coming in, local hometown boy from Bozeman, Montana Mixed Martial Arts. Going up against another one of those tough fighters at a Rocky Boy, and these guys do come to fight. Joey Murray, our ring announcer, doing a great job tonight, calling everyone in and letting everyone know what's going on. And once again, our referee, Dennis Bain. Set. And we're underway. Touch of the gloves, show respect, and fight begins. Again, another big reach and height difference in this bout. Should make an interesting combo. Daniel takes the center of the ring. Nolan dance around the outside. Nolan in the southpaw stance. Still oh. a little bit of a feeling out going on there. Always makes it a different element now when you're fighting a southpaw. Here you go. Of that due to strikes. Looked like he may have taken a knee to the midsection. Could have taken a strike, whether it be a knee or a. He's definitely holding that side there where he got struck. Yeah, Either a knee or a strike of some sort definitely caught him. Looks like he got him in the left rib cage. We'll have to take a look at that replay when it comes up and see exactly what caught him. Well, he finished him in devastating fashion, though. Hats off to that Montana MMA. They have been sweeping tonight. They have done a very excellent job for sure. They've got a lot of guys fighting and a lot of guys winning. Daniel's definitely a hometown boy. We had a probably the best ovation so far today, bringing him into the cage. Yeah, definitely a crowd favorite. I talked. I had a chance. Had a chance to talk with Daniel earlier and. He said that he was fighting and he wanted to uh, dedicate this fight to his daughter, daughter Ariel, which is a six-year-old daughter, so. Yeah, that's fantastic. He won it for her. You can tell he had a lot of passion going into this fight. Again, I didn't see that, Cal. Uh, did you see if it was a strike? I couldn't knee? see. I couldn't see at that angle either. I, just, just was covered up. I couldn't see exactly what caught, connected with him. Great show of sportsmanship, Daniel checking. Here we go. Maybe we can get another look at it here. No, again. Uh, it could have been that beginning front kick delayed reaction. It looks like that's the only strike that landed in that vicinity. So could have had a little bit of a delayed reaction from that kick. Very fast fight. At 52 seconds into round number one. Winner by tap out to the strikes. Fighting out of the red corner, Daniel Uzi from Uzi. Uzi gets the quick victory. Yeah, it took him a second to get going, but once he got going, Cal, he really turned it on. And again, great sportsmanship. I love that. I love seeing that. It's good to see for sure.
Here's the replay. Here's the finish of the fight. Oh, it did look like that left hook to the ribs is what did it. This could have been earlier, it looks like, with the first exchange that they had. Yeah, it swarmed him with those punches. Looks like this lead kick coming lands right there, just nicks the left side of his rib cage there. And then he immediately, after that delayed action, he doubles yeah, over. I think you're right, Cal. I think it was that front lead kick. That's the only strike reaction. that landed in the vicinity, I think. Because he was certainly holding his rib kick. 